is Andy Cho, clarinetist at the Allen Philharmonic Orchestra, and today I would like to talk about the basics of tone production. So first I would like to talk about how the clarinet makes sound. The sound of the clarinet is made from the combination of mouthpiece and the reed put together with the ligature. If you take a look at my mouthpiece here, there is a little space between the reed and the mouthpiece which allows the reed to vibrate and that is how the sound of the clarinet is produced. To allow the reed to vibrate, the placement of the bottom lip is extremely crucial. You don't want to place it too high as the tip of the reed is very thin and it will press against the mouthpiece and it will not allow the reed to vibrate. You also don't want to place it too low as that will cause the reed to vibrate too much and it will be out of control and you will have much more chances of squeaking. You want to place it right around here where it will blow the tip. But even with the right placement, if you put too much pressure on your bottom lip and press too hard against the reed, it will not allow the reed to vibrate as much as you would want it to and you won't be able to produce a proper sound. We call this biting. So how do we avoid this? This is where the importance of proper embouchure comes into play. So I have four simple steps for you to achieve a good embouchure. First, fold your bottom lip and cover your teeth. Flatten out the chin. Stretch out the side. And bring in the lips. Now that your embouchure is set, take your clarinet Bring it to your mouth and press the mouthpiece against your upper teeth, but not to the point where it damages your teeth, of course. And now you will close off the mouthpiece with your bottom lip just by placing it under the reed. So it should look something like that. Remember, the key word here is placing, not pressing. The muscles of your side and chin will have to be developed and trained in order for you to be able to maintain your embouchure. If you're just starting out playing the clarinet, your lift will most likely get tired after playing for a short amount of time. I would suggest you to start practicing maybe 10 to 15 minutes a day with the proper embouchure and slowly increase your practice time low by low from there. I believe that this will help you train your embouchure and help you gain more endurance. It is extremely important to be efficient with your practice as it takes years to fix an embouchure that is not developed correctly. Now we're going to talk about how to breathe properly. Breathing properly is extremely important to produce a nice and focused sound. What you don't want to do is take a shallow breath which only fills up your chest and you won't be able to take in enough air this way. What you want to do is take a deep breath and fill up all of your stomach, especially the back. So I would suggest you to put your hands on the back of your stomach and really feel your back expanding as you inhale. If you have a hard time knowing what it feels like to take a deep breath, try yawning. You actually take a really good breath when you yawn. Remember how that feels and try applying it to your regular breathing. I also want to emphasize that it's extremely important to have a good posture. Slouching is a big no-no. You should always think chest up and back straight. I personally believe that having a good posture is a key to success, not just in music, but in any occupation. That's it for today. Thank you and keep practicing.